Hi guys, it's Matt from Mini War Footage, and tonight I'm here with Rodriguez, Hello. or Rodders as we call him. Rodrigo, Rodders oh, <laughs> is new to war gaming. He's new to war uh, Oathmark. He's new to war all. So I'm just going to teach him how to play war games and Oathmark at the same time. So we've done a thousand point army. I've given him three wolvers, ten elf archers, fifteen human line breakers. Level two mage and five dwarf line breakers. And I've got myself ten warrior, elf, a human mage, a elf ballista, fifteen human rangers, a no, I like fifteen elf rangers and three giant spiders. So we're just gonna teach Rod Rodders how to play. So I'm gonna come back and we're gonna roll some dice. To see who deploys and i'll walk you through deployment thank you okay guys so we've rolled initiative for setup so this is deployment so what we do have done here is i rolled two d10s and what has rolled two d10s and like so this time he won but last when we rolled off camera he i actually won and chose for him to set up first so what we've done is place one unit at a time. Rodders put one down, I put one down and so on and so on until we finished all of the units. So Rodders has got his Wolvers out on the flank here, he's got his Elf Archers and his Human Line Breakers up in the middle and his Dwarf uh, Line Breakers out on the flank there. Uh, I've got my Ballista out there on the left, my left flank, my Humans and my Mage, uh, my Elf Warriors and my Human Mage in the center i've got my rangers here in the back behind the woods because these guys have got nimble and i'll describe what that does in a second and i've got my giant spiders out here on my right flank who also have nimble okay so we're going to play six turns the plan is to capture that uh building there and to do that would be the person at the end of turn six with the most undisrupted uh figures next to the building basically on that little patch of terrain there so that's what we're going to do so i'm just going to explain a little bit more to rodders and then we're going to start turn one right. turn one okay guys so we're going to roll for initiative rodders two dice somebody gets a two and a six and i get a, a ten and a one so i get off first so I then decide which one of my units I'm going to activate. So I'm only going to move one unit at a time. So I'm going to actually think about moving my spiders. Now I've got a quick reference sheet that, um, off of Facebook group. Somebody's put a excellent Excel spreadsheet up that you can run and it gives you all your numbers. So on here I can see that my spiders Spiders, well, spiders there. My activation five and move five. So for, to get my activation, I need to get five or more on two dice and then I can move. So I get a six and a one. That means I can move. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these guys five inches. Now each unit gets two actions, a simple action and a uh, normal action. The simple action can be something like if you're a bowman you can fire, uh, a manoeuvre, um, or you can be a second move and a second move allows you to move half of your original speed so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to move two and a half there. Okay so but while we're doing that you may have noticed that these guys actually moved through what looks like yeah, a wood, and it is, so it's, this wood is counted as rough ground. The fact is that these spiders have got a special character, um, touristic, uh, called Nimble, which allows them to move through rough terrain with, and uh, woods and all that sort of stuff without any effect. So that's why I moved that. So, we're back over to Rodders. Turn one, which unit do you want to activate first, mate? Okay, so he's going to try and activate his human line breaker. So if you have a look onto your sheet, 
and she just puts them into your little thing so you look, find your human line breakers. Yep. And they should be activation five, I believe. Five. So you get two dice, roll the dice, and you get a four and a nine. So you activate those guys. So then you can now, now you can move them. So I believe they've got a move of five. Move of five. Okay, so you can move five inches for your normal move. And as there's, there's nobody probably in range, I would move that, the second one uh, as well. So you can move seven and a half in total. Okay, excellent. Okay, guys. So that's the simple activation. What we're going to do is we're going to carry on uh, and activate for first turn. And if we come to another bit where we're firing or something like that, I will come back and then we will go through turn two. Okay, guys, cheers. Okay, guys. So what we've got here is Rodders has moved up his three wolvers onto this little hill here. And back here, I've got my Alpha Ballista. Now Alpha Ballista has got a range of 30. You can find that in the rule book and it's on the quick reference sheet. Um, I know that's less than 30 inches, because um, I do. But we'll just measure it anyway, if you can pass me the root, that ruler. Thank you very much. So we got 12, 24, easy, okay? Okay, so what do we do? So for that, basically I have an artillery fire. So we go to the quick reference sheet, we'll find the shoot skills that are on there. No, no, I know what mine is. If you go to the quick reference sheet, Rogers. Thank you very much. So we come on to these Q QRF sheets, and these are on the Osprey uh, webpage, and I'll put the link in below for that as well. So what we've got here is all artillery starts with one dice. Okay. And then you can see here is the artillery um, additional dice modifier. So it's an artillery bus a bonus because I've got an artillery bonus. So that takes up to two. And then it says per enemy unit rank. Now there's only one rank there, so I would only get plus one. But it just ha kind of happens that the Wolvers are large, so I get another dice. Um, I'd get plus two if it was enormous, and I'd get plus two if it was in the rear or the flank, but it's not. So that gives me three dice to fire at these guys. Okay, so my shoot on a ballista uh, starts at three. So I'm hitting on three. The defense on your Wolvers is, if you could have a look on your sheet, please, Rodders. I believe it's 10. Oh, it's 11. Yes. Is it? Ten? Ten. Okay, so I'm hitting on sevens. Yeah, that's cool. So what it means, okay, how have I got that? My shoot for this artillery, my basically shoot there is three. Is our defense is 10, so I'm taking 10 minus three, which is seven. Okay, so what I've seen that you can see here, I've got a nine, a four, and a five. Okay, so what does that mean? That means I've got one hit. Okay, now these guys have got three wounds each. Okay, so what we need to do is just indicate that one of those has got, doesn't matter which one, has got a point of damage. Okay, now we don't take morale, um, we have now have to take a morale check. Okay, you haven't actually lost anybody on there, so what we need to do is we check the morale. Okay, so we, looking at the morale, we know that the Wolvers have got an activation of, I think it's five, but what is it just going to check? Five. Okay, yep. Yeah. So what we've got there is, you've got two dice, and you need to roll, you've taken one point of damage, you need to roll a, uh, you are, you need a five because you have two units. Yep, you need to roll a five because you've yeah. got a unit contains at one complete rank of 50 by 50 bases. One dice. Yeah, one die. No, two dice. Sorry. And you need a five. Yep. And a 10, you rolled a 10. 
factor 10 is always, always a pass morale. You don't ever need to worry about anything else. If you're on a 10, it's an automatic pass. Okay, guys, so that's a bit of artillery fire, and we'll be back in a minute. Hi, guys, it's turn two, so we're going to roll for some initiative. I've got a 401. And Rodder's got an 8 and a 2, so Rodder's, you're going first. So, you need to decide, well, you can pick to decide if you want to go first. So, if I was you, I would suggest that you do that. Now, what I would actually do um, is probably activate your Wolvers first. Because if you can activate them, that one point of damage that you've got on there will uh, regenerate, yeah. and then you'll also get a lot closer to here. Okay. And, and it's going to put me into a point of I have fate complete, I have to fire at you. Okay. Otherwise, you're going to tear me in your backside. Okay, cool. So I might not hit, I won't be trying to aim for these guys over I will here. activate them. Okay, so I'm needing a five, a okay. ten, and a two. Yeah. Excellent. So you now need to move them. You're, you can move remove that point of damage first. Remove the point of damage. Okay, guys, it's in the rule book, but Wolvers have regenerate characteristic, which lets them um, react, uh, take that one hit point off. Um, what you have to remember is they have to be able to activate. So if you get hit and you've got the damage and you get charged, that won't activate you. It's a full activation on the charge roll. Ten and a half inches. Yep, ten and a half inches. They're powering forward. They can smell elf blood. Even though it's their brethren, it's obviously just a practice exercise, something like that. Okay, so we're going to run through artillery again just because why not? Because I'm going to try and activate these guys. So I got three and two, which is very lucky. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not lucky for you, but it's going to be the same stats as last time. So I have got one, I've got one for the to start off with. One bonus for artillery and one for them being large. There's no change in distance, just because he's closer, it just means he's closer. So there's no modifiers for that. So again, all I need to do is roll three dice. His defense is 10, my shoot is three. So I've got a 10 and two three. So it's only one point again. Oh dear, poor, poor, poor ballista. Okay, so one point over there. Then you have to roll morale, yes, indeed you do. Oh, two so dice. Two dice again. So it's going to be the same factor as last time, which is five. You need five. Five and seven. Five and seven. Happy days. Oh. Okay, so it's um, you're back to your turn. So you'll see that we're putting down markers. Now, it may seem silly to do that um, in a thousand point game, but it's just a good practice. Rodgers has never really played a war game before. And he's going to try and activate his mage. So, so she needs, uh, it's an elf mage, so you need threes, I believe. Threes, elf mage, yes. Yeah, okay, so rolling three activation, a six, six and, and a ten. ten. Okay, so now she's going to try and cast some magic. So uh, the can spell. Can I move her? You can move her first, yes. Yeah. And activate. Yes, you can. You can cast the magic at the end. So does it mirror? So she. Pardon? Does it? Does it doesn't she, matter. No. Does she need to? No, does no. it have a range of? Uh, yeah, uh, some of the spells. Some of the spells definitely have range, but the ones that she I've given you do not have range. But um, well, you have got an ability called fire over. To fire over, because you've got fireball, you have to be within three inches of a unit in front of you. Yeah. So what you want to do, if you wanted to cast fireball, is make sure you're within three inches of that unit to fire over the top. But I know what you want to do because you have got um, the spell um, True Flight. Yeah. Um, is try and cast that. So, need, like, so you're going to roll for that first. Yeah, I would like to buff this guy. Okay, I like it. You're using buff already. Yeah. Above seven. You, you right? need seven or above. And there you go. So you know we have to remember these guys now have plus Bing. one. So I have got tokens, but um, actually I'll tell you what. I'll put this token on. Because it's got a target on it, and then you can remember that it's got a yeah, buff. One. Okay, yeah. so that's his mage. Okay, I've got to now try and activate my mage. I've got a human mage, and she does activate on a 10 and 2. Uh, her activation is 5, and she's going to try and cast um, 
fireball at those guys over there because I can see directly at them. So, pardon? I, I'm not firing over anybody here. You can, you can ask a question. Don't feel you can ask you got a question. So what Rod has said is is within three inches. Well, what we've got here, as you can see here from from the laser, freaking laser beam. Let me put the dice down and I can press buttons there. Or I've broken it. I don't know. There you go. So what we can see here, hopefully, is from here to here, we have clear line of sight. A clear line of sight all the way there. So I don't need to fire over. If those were over there and I was seeing through that unit, that's when I would have to be within three inches. Okay. So she is a level two caster, so I get two dice. Uh, a fireball is a um, casting number of seven, and I get a seven and a three. So fireball is a dice, three dice at magic uh, of four. Your armor we know is 10, so I'm actually hitting you on sixes, okay? Have those guys got shielding? Just, those guys got yeah, shielding? just have a check. Uh, Ruva, shielding, no. Okay, they haven't got shielding, we'll get to that bit. It's an S, right? It, it, no, it'll be in, no, if you keep going all the way to the, in where all the characteristics are. That's so it's horrific, two. charge two, wild charge. Will charge nimble regenerate. Right, no, so you haven't got that. Charge. Okay. Okay. okay, so here we go, guys. I need sixes to hit, and I get one, so that's up to two. So that guy is up to two. Okay. So he's got two wounds. So he's still well, well alive, and then it's morale. My morale. No, I put two dices. Need five. Yep. Happy days. They're not going to be worried about such things. Okay, so it's over to you, Rodan. Right, um, I got to activate these guys. Okay, so you're going to try and activate your elf archers. So you need a three because that's the activation. A two and a one. Okay. So as you can see, there's a definitely a two and a one. Okay. So what that does that mean? Um, so I've explained a little bit to Rodan already. It means you can move still. Okay. Uh, what it means is you lose your um, your your small your simple action. Um, if he was within range of and line of sight of a unit, he could still fire those archers. He isn't. Um, so all it means is he can move six inches. He can move six inches. Yep. So no tree. Yeah, just not just normal six inches. Six inches. Okay. So. When he, he would be, like I said, he'd be able to shoot, be allowed to shoot. Uh, and what that would mean, though, is that we would count as being activate, uh, activated and moved. So that would give him an actual uh, plus, minus one to your um, to hit. So that's what that would do. Okay, minus one. Yeah. Okay. So, so then I remove that. Uh, no, no, that's so still no, plus one? no. So that's a good, very good question. So Rod has cast the spell on there. Okay, so that spell, like uh, unless it says it in the in the book, is forever. Okay, so that that is you've got plus one for the whole game. Okay, right. so can I'm, I recast this spell? You don't need to recast. No, you can you can't buff more than once. Oh, okay. But that's a good idea. But yeah, no, it's a one off. And now you got fireball. So basically, um, you what you should have done. Sorry, you you didn't. And I'll let you is move her up six inches. Because you cast the spell and then you move her. Because okay. you want to get her moved up so that she can at least... Um, we'll get away this time. Yeah, because right? you want to start using your fireball spell. Cool. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try and activate my spiders. And I got a 10 and a 3. So yes, they do. So I'm going to move 5 inches. And then another 2 and a half. And there we go. Okay. They're getting there, they're getting there. Okay, runners. Gotta activate these guys now. Okay, so we're going to the human line breakers. Needing fives. Yeah, we'll find out. Happy five. days. Hold it. Um, they move five, so okay. they move seven and a half. So the question is, is do you want to go march straight ahead and bump into the building, or do you want to move a little bit and give yourself a bit of angle? 
Yeah. I'll, okay. That that was my next question. Yeah. What can I do? Can I do like so? Yeah, that? You, can, you can do a little bit of a wheel. So, like I told you, yes, yeah, like So, to wheel, you basically measure. What I would do is you measure where you want to come from. So you're coming into here. Um, you're going to move six inches. So. So I can do it like yeah, that. Yeah, wheel, and then six inches. There you go. Then I stay like and this. That, yeah, you can only do one maneuver per turn. So that's all. Oh. And then next turn, you can obviously you can maneuver first and then straighten out. You can never charge. So that was my pivot point there. Yeah, so that, that's your wheel point. So mm -hmm. if you wanted to pivot, the pivot is always done on the officer okay. in the front. So that, and that's basically, you can do like a 360 or a 180 mm -hmm. sort of, that's a pivot move. Okay. Okay, so. so I, that counts as one movement. That that counts as a simple movement, basically. Okay, yeah. so then if I pivot, I, I can only move the half. It's the move. six. No, you can move the full six. Okay. It counts as a simple movement, okay. So now we're going to come in here into the depths of the woods, do, 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 do. and we are going to try and activate my rangers, which I do. Okay, so we're going to get some bow action in here. Okay, and unfortunately for Rodders, we are going to fire at you. So, what does that mean? Well, I'm an elf. Okay, so elves have a range of 22 on their bow, um, whereas and I'll show you this on the quick reference sheet here. So you can see on here, elf bow is 22 inches and a standard bow is 20 inches. So you get an extra two inches, which I'm told is good. <laughs> uh, and if you have a master Fletcher in your um, kingdom, you get another two inches. So you would get 24 inches. But we can see there, we're very much within 20, 22 inches. Okay. The other thing we can see here is I can see his unit easily. I, and I'm measuring from there to there. There's nothing blocking my line of sight. Okay. From officer to officer, I can definitely see them all. So I can fire. So I've got five dice. Okay. So I'm a ranger. I start at three. Okay. But I've also got two extra lines. Okay, so each extra line gives me an additional die, uh, a, a modifier to hit. Now, your guys over there, their defense is? The defense is 10. Okay, so what does that mean? That means I've got a, yeah, that's cool. So I've got five, so that means I've got five dice hitting on fives, fives or more. Now, if I get any tens, we can go through and explain that. I don't, okay. So I've got three hits. So we've got an eight, a six, and an eight, and these three and this two misses. Okay, so that means you take three casualties. So if you just take, now if you take the models off the back of the row, One. yeah, two, and if you take it off the edge, that's it, and you always work into the middle. So just pop them onto the side over there. All right, so you keep two of your mind. Oh, that Okay, so what does that mean? Well, it means we're gonna to have to take a morale check. Okay, you're starting on fives, okay? Uh, you're starting on fives? Yep. So, that is his activation. Well, what we do, as we go to here, you can see here that he's, um, where is it? Here we go. So, he has caused, I've caused even, three casualties. So that takes his, Dice down by three, okay? The unit's disordered, no, it's not. It contains unless than one full rank. It does not. It contains at least two complete ranks of figures at 25 by 25, which it does. So it's 25, okay? And last but not least, it comes back up. And so the morale test is due to shooting attack, which it is. So that's a plus one. So you're actually only need a six. So on two dice, that's a six. A one and a two. Unfortunately, that means he fails. So we're going to put a disruption marker on to there. It's a casualty. It's a dead elf. And it just denotes that you know that unit is now disrupted. Okay, so just to explain that once again, did you understand that fully? 
Jordi-ish. So we'll go through that again. So basically what happens, okay, uh, I will come up to here again, is your morale hit on these guys is five because your activation is five. Mm -hmm. I caused three casualties, okay? So what that means is you've got to get an eight or more, okay? Because for each casualty, yeah, we take minus one off our dice. Mm -hmm. Roll, okay? If you were disordered, that would go up by another. And if you had what le less than one full rank, so if you had less, if you had four figures or less, it would also go down by another one. But the next modifier we get to is a unit contains at least two complete ranks. So you've got two complete ranks. So what it was basically saying, you're quite strong, so you've got a good, happy bunch of guys. So what that does is then negates one of the minuses. Okay, so you start in at eight, that would take you down to seven. And then we've got the morale test, is due to shooting attack. So I'm just fired my ar archers at you. That gives you another plus, and that takes you to six. And that's how we get there. Okay? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So, I can't do anything about it if it, if it, if it helps, which I know it doesn't. Um, <clears throat> and that's over to you. Okay. Oh, I did a bit of that already. I'm going to move that and loot these. Yep. It's your dwarves. I so, can I ask you a question? You can. So, line of sight is always from that this middle guy should see the. Yeah, other basically, guy? yeah. Oh, that one. No, no, it's line of sight between. So, between so sorry. That and yeah. That. So, those guys there. Um, so, it's there. It's always the central guy. Yeah. So, okay. and you've got to be able to see more than half of my figures. Okay. So, you could, because you're there, you can only see three of them. So what can I shoot? No. No, you can't shoot through there. Okay. But don't forget they've already activated. Nice. So they can move and but bearing in mind I'm moving that way. Nice. <laughs> so anyway, now your dwarves are next. Acting about okay. So I'm gonna activate my dwarves. They are um four. Yes. Okay. Move them six inches. Again. Six inches again. That's my ruler. Thank you. Apologies. So six inches because that's one and a half move, right? Yep. Boom. Okay, cool. That. Excellent. Okay, and finally, I'm going to try and activate these guys. Okay, which I do. And they are going to move up into the danger zone. I don't know if I should actually. Right, so that puts me there, poised, ready to attack his line breakers if I win the initiative. Okay, we're going to come back for turn three. Okay, guys, it's turn three and it's initiative time. So I got an eight three. Six in eight six. So you are the first rodders. Okay, for, these guys. That seems a really good idea. So, oh, and them? you need to activate first. Oh. So what he's going to try and do is activate these guys to move the disruption. If he moves the disruption, that means um, he can move, but it also means uh, I can't, well, yeah, I won't be able to make him run away if I cause more casualties because he could be in a lot of problems if he does. So now he needs two dice. His, his activation is normally five, but he's got a disruption marker, so that takes him up to six. We need a six on one die. There we go. And there we go. It's take, and he got a ten, so yeah, it's automatic pass again. Um, remove that. Okay, so you take the disruption, and then you can try and basically move in. Are you gonna wheel if you're gonna wheel, you do it from the side you're moving in. So we're gonna. Yeah. Is it how, yeah. how many is that? Six inches. That's fine. So we're gonna move six inches into from this side. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So what does that mean? That means now I will give him a bit of uh, coaching. I, I cannot it's from there you can see. So I can't actually fire into because I'm too far back. Okay. So what I am gonna do is see if I can kill one of those warbers. So I activate my lifters and I know we know we're still hitting on sevens. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. 
three dice at sevens, and I got none. Absolutely none. Wow. I'm lucky. Yes. The tide has turned, I'm a, it would seem. Okay. I you're... cannot shoot with the elf, can I? Uh, no, there's definitely no. I mean, if you. So if we go through there, you're firing through your own. Mm. You're not within three inches. Oh, can I fire? Uh, if, that looks like to me. It... Yes, you can. I she is. Oh, definitely okay. is, yeah. So you need to activate her first. So there's some spells that do have range. Fireball is not one of them. So she's so got all that all to herself. This side here, so I can't move. If I move the wolves, they're going to block her. If I move these guys, are going to. Uh, I. You know what? I don't think firing the mage is a bad idea. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not doing anything now. You could bring the, her up, but she's not. She might get in close enough yeah, she, to she, fire she, over. If well, you I wanted to, over these guys you could do. But what if you take the, if you barbecue these guys? Right. Okay. What it does do is allows you to move your wolvers this way, and, mm -hmm. and it will also be able to mean that you can either keep these guys on here mm -hmm. to keep that um, me pinned oh. down here. Okay. So I needed three to activate. Well, four, four and, and seven. seven. Okay. So now you need a seven to cast that spell. Yes. Oh my word. Okay. So now we need to look at I need to look at this because my first attack ever. It is. Okay, so the blister has got shielding. That means you lose one dice though. So you got two dice. Got two dice. Yeah. So I got sh shielding and my armor though, my defense is eight and you're a four. So you're hitting me on fours. So if you get a nine or a ten, it's all gravy for you. But you hit me on fours. Likelihood is they are now. Barbecue toast. Ah, oh, you only got one four. Oh. Boom. Boom. I do have to take a morale check. Uh, oh, I got a seven. Yeah, that's going to be okay. How do I know that? Because I don't know. <laughs> okay. My go. Okay, so I am going to. I am going to activate my spiders. So seven and five, and they are just gonna trickle forward a little bit. There we go, some great camera work there. Let's trickle forward. I think they're probably just outside. Oh, no, I'm not. So, this is a friendly game. I should have measured it. I'm just outside there, oh. <laughs> so they can't charge me, but I'm holding them up. Okay, okay. I'm going to activate. Right. Okay, let me just do some calculation. Calculate away. So I can move that one up to. Well, if you activate it, you can definitely move that six inches. Okay, let me. Um, and fire. So if I activate that. Yeah. I want to, see, want to get cover here. Yeah. So I'm probably going to move once about yeah, and you can, four inches. You'll be able to fire at the ballista. Yeah, and then from four inches, can I fire the ballista? Yeah, you definitely will be able to fire at the ballista. Because yeah. your commander will be about there. Okay, so so full, full view. So activations, you need threes. Okay, yeah, cool. Uh, activation, you need threes, right? Ten and four. Okay, so four. you can move them forward. I'm going to move them like that so i can still be on cover it's good so now can i shoot this you can so we're going to work out the dice so we can we know straight away that you've got five dice because you've got two ranks of five so we've got five dice we know you've got a starting shoot of three yes yes okay we know you've got an extra rank that takes it up to four and we know you've got true flight which takes it up to five so my um, up, my defence is eight. I have got a shielding, which means you do lose one of your die. Okay, so from that, uh, you have moved though, so that takes you back to four. Okay, so you're hitting on fours again. So you only need four one dice is four. Four dice is on four. You only need one die to hit, get a four. And so a four, four or above, or four, four? Or, four or above, and it's bye bye ballista. Oh yeah, it's toast. Boom. 
There's no more ballista. Okay. So I'm going to try and activate my mage. So she does. 10 and a 5. And she's going to try and fire, cast a fireball at these guys. So I need a 7. And, and I do. I get a 3. Dice, that's for your armor on yours. Armor on the elves, elf archer armor is uh, defense. Sorry, I keep calling it armor as D. D, D9? D9. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I got fours, that means I hit you on fives. Oh, right, okay. Right, let just bubble that. Okay, so that looks like two misses. But what that is, is a 10. 10. Well, what happens is if you get um, more than five over, the same or over, uh, than your hit to hit, you, it will cause two dice. If you got 10 or more, it causes three casualties. That actually causes two casualties. Oh, somehow I've really stopped recording. Go on. We missed it. Right, I hit on seven. Can we just stop? Can I hit on stop? seven. Can we just... I can edit in, see. Okay, guys, so we've got the melee. I've been able to get inside, and we are now going to work out the scores. So my elf warriors have actually got uh, a fight of three and I've got an extra rank. So that give me, gives me a fight of four. My morale, uh, my defense is 10, okay? And I've got shielding, but as I'm attacking, I cannot actually use shielding. Uh, Rodders has got a defense of 10, but no shielding. He could actually use shielding if he'd had it uh, and remove a dice, but if he does that in melee, he also loses dice. But Rod is, is, your attack is three? Three. Okay, and you've got an extra rank, which takes you up to four. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you have activated already, so that takes it back down. So I'm on 10, you're on 10 defense. So I'm hitting you on sixes, and you're hitting me on seven. On seven. So let me roll first. And I got three. And you got one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we take the casualties out first. Got three casualties. Yep. Just pop them on the back because we're going to do our. So now I've won um, the melee, and I get to choose what I can do with with your unit. I've got a choice. There's three choices when you win a win a fight. I can tell you to move it back an inch. I can tell me to fall back an inch, or I can push you back six inches. I'm going to push you back six inches. So um, if there was a unit behind it, that would also make that shuffle up backwards as well. But don't forget now, you've got, you're on actually on two. Um, you're actually on two. So you, what we could do is if we just put, transfer your blokes to there, it will make it life a little bit easier for you. So you can take it from the back then. Okay. And then we pop him back in there. And then we pop, pop it back pop it straight. And then that moves back six inches. And then we're going to roll for the morale and see if they go disrupted again. So we'll measure from here. Yeah. So if you won't measure from here, because they were they're, they're this side. So they, if you move them all the way up to there and then to move them back. Okay, happy days. So now you have to well now you have to roll for morale. So you've lost three. Your armor is five. Uh, your um, activation is five. So that means you need to get eight or higher to stay undisrupted. Ooh. So you come disrupted again, which is what I was hoping for. Dark came disrupted. You are come disrupted, okay. And I have to still take a morale test because I lost a casualty. Mm -hmm. So I need three. I have only got one rank now, so I need to. I actually need a four, which I do. Okay. Uh, and now, have you got any units left? 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. So dwarves. Dwarves will move forward. Okay. So if I move the six inches, I cannot attack. You, I, I move just outside your range, so it sets one of us. It's basically, if you move forward, whoever wins initiative possibly could attack first. Okay. Okay. So you move just out of that. So, I mean, you can move four and just wait, and, and or, you know, it's up yeah. to you. Or you can just wait there and make, and make me do it again. Let me activate it. Pin seven. Yep. Yeah. So I'm not gonna move it. The other thing you could do is move backwards, because you can move backwards at half speed. And that would really bugger me up because but I um the problem you got now is your these guys here in the middle are in danger zone because don't forget I haven't fired them. My rangers yet. So if they fire at those they can break you. That's kind of your middle gone. So yeah, I've definitely got line of fire on you there. So you suggest you move I don't yeah, right I, I mean it's up to you. Um I've put you in a rock and a hard place. Um I would I would move forward in the hope of being able to charge and possibly do some damage to me I'll next do, turn. I'll move forward to yeah. six inches. And if the worst if the worst happens, at least, at least you'll die move. you'll die an honourable death. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm okay, done. and then finally I'm gonna try and activate my alpha art rangers, so I do. And I am unfortunately gonna fire into your guys from here. So I am on three, four, five. So I'm hitting you on fives or higher. Uh, well, I need, I need two, so I don't, I've done two, so you lose another two. But you are on eight again because you are disrupted, so you need two dice, you need an eight. Two dice, need an eight. Oh no. Unfortunately, that means these now retire and route off the table. If there was within any unit within six inches of them, they would also have to take something called cascading morale, and they would have to take a morale test at full strength. So, yeah, yeah. so if you've got things like goblins and things like that, they are not very good, and they start running, and they, they can cascade and get disruptions all over the place. And okay, so a clever player could make you go all over the place. So yeah, just remove them all. They are gone. They've gone screaming away. Okay. But they come back, right? When? And for the next battle, yeah, next battle. <laughs> right. Okay, guys. Um, uh, so that's the top of t turn three. We're going to come back. Okay, guys. So we're turn four. Let's see who's got initiative. I've got a ten and an eight. A nine and an eight. Oh. Now that does mean I am going to try and charge your dwarves with my spiders. So I need fives. I do. The spiders charge into the dwarves okay so giant spiders have got a fight of three okay so i've got five dice uh i've got a defense of 11. Uh, i am horrific so when you do have to if you do have to take a morale check because i kill somebody you can only roll one dice because i'm scary okay so your defense is my defense is 11. okay and your attack is my attack is three. Okay, so basically we're exactly both the same. We're hitting on eight. Okay. And I got none. Oh, yes. I've got five now, eh? And you got one. One nine, eh? Yeah. So you get one hit on my guys. Meaning you win the combat. So you can now decide what to do with them. So you can push them back, you can go back one, or I can put, go back six inches. So the, the choices you've got there is if you push me back six, you know I can come back and charge at you still because of 
um, on a five, so I might not activate. Mm -hmm. So it means I can only get within five. I would, if I was you, my tendency would be towards pushing me back six inches on the hope that I might fluff it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, and um, that's exactly what I would do, because why wouldn't you do that? Because I might, if I got a bad dice roll, you know, you're actually... Yeah, you can move back six yeah. inches, please. Yeah. Then I can just charge you, right? Not this turn, because you've already activated, but you can't, you definitely... No, I've not activated, no. not that. No, no, because you're into combat. Okay, I'm into combat, so I'll So you automatically, activate. yeah, you automatically activate as soon as you enter cool. combat, yeah. okay? Okay. But next turn, if you want the initiative, you know you know exactly that you can you can run straight into them, mm -hmm. okay? So that's, that's my other right. yours, and you, it's over to you. Right. So I cannot move these anymore. No, because they are now activated. So you've basically got a choice of one of those three units over there, your wolfers, the archers or your mage. Who to move first? I'm going to move my... Okay, I'm going to move my wolves. I'm going to move my archers. Okay, you activated move. last turn, didn't you? I, so you should have taken oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, can I shoot Duke from here? Yeah, you can shoot her from so there. Well, I did, uh, is she in range? She's definitely within 22 inches. Okay, like, I will. Off the top of my head. One of, these is one of these is 24 inches. Okay. So we know that, and I'm definitely more than two inches. Uh, okay, now. cool. So I'm going to attack her. Okay, so you get five dice. So if we get the um, artillery, the the screen do you want to see if you can work out uh what you can what you need to do if you take the, the shooting modifiers okay shooting modifier situation full ranks in unit do i have a one full rank in unit yeah so i keep i get one more dice right but you're on five already so you're on five already so it's not so we, when we're shooting with archery we don't we we know it, Rolling is take the amount of dice as um, they've okay. got on there. So, why not start detailing shooting special? So, yeah, do we have shooting special? Uh, she does, so she does, she's a mage, so she does shield. Okay, so she's gonna make you drop one dice. So, I've got four dice now. Yeah, okay, but I have a full ranks in the unit. You do, so I, I get one dice back. What are we looking at? So that's, no, so okay. So you, I've got shielding. So this is actually your modifier table to to, to what you need to roll. Ah. Oh. Okay. So you've got four ranks in unit minus one for each full rank after the first. So you've got your first rank. If you had a second rank of full, you would get a minus one, but you don't. Okay. Okay. But then we've got the going through here. So unit is shielded. yeah. Sorry, yeah. I'll just, so unit has uh, action. Has, uh, you haven't activated yet. You haven't moved. No. Unit is disordered. No. Target is in light cover. No. Target is in heavy cover. No. Okay. 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 So we know now that you start on three, but you've got true flights. So you're on four. So you know you need to hit her. You got right, four. You need to activate her. Uh, you still need to activate them. And my. Uh, Spellcaster is defense eight, so you're going to be hitting her on fours. So you need to roll two dice to activate. Please. Yep. yep. Now I've got four dice. Four dice. Four Needing four. fours. What one? Oh, one. Good. She is still alive. Really? A human spellcaster, level two, two hit points. We will put the death mask on her. No, oh, this she does the yeah. one. She's got one left. Okay. Right. Well, based on that, having one left, she's not very happy. She does activate. She is going to try and send you a barbecued sausage. And she does. So that's uh, cast the fireball onto your um, archers. archers. So that's three at four, your nine, so I need fives to hit you. Oh dear. So what did I get there? I've got two tens. Because that's double five plus, five plus, 
That means I hit, you kill, commit four casualties against you. So, ouch. 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 That was lucky. That was lucky on my behalf. Okay. So, what does that mean? So, we're going to work out the morale again. So, we know what your activation is, yeah? Three. Okay. So, how many casualties have you lost? Four. So, that gives you a morale of... Two seven. Yep, yeah, we've got no, we've got, full, we haven't got, but the difference we got now is we haven't got, you no longer have a full rank at the front. Sure. So that takes it up another level. Eight. It's up to eight. We're not disrupt. You're not disrupted. You're not got anything else going on. It's an eight or more, and then if not, you're going to go disrupted. Oh, yep, you're going to go disrupted. Oh. Okay. That's Unfortunately, that's the way. The twenty crumbles. Unfortunately, I got lucky with my dice. So, um, yeah, actually, these guys are going to try and activate, which they do, and they're just going to swing around, and that's all they're going to do. I'm going to put their backs to the walls. Okay. Okay. Cool. So. Um, I'm going to activate the wolves. Okay. Over five. Yep. So she cannot attack them, can yeah, she? Yeah, yeah, she can see them inside. I, I would definitely say you can see her. In uh, the other thing is, uh, sorry, what I should have said to you is um, figures, single unit, like like her, Get, basically can reface for free when if I make a manoeuvre. Oh. So you could actually make her more facing towards these guys. Like that? Yep. No, not move her. <laughs> but okay. good try, yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> okay. Um, right. So I'm going to attack these archers. Fireball. You're going to... Oh, okay. So you need to activate her. Three. Okay. Yep. And oh. then you need to cast a spell, needing a seven. Ten and ten. Ten and ten. Nine. Nine. So whoosh, bang, whoosh, off it goes. Okay. So I don't have shielding. My armour is eight. You've got three dice at four. So you ain't going on fours. Okay. Um, though I am, I am... Um, in light cover. Uh, I am in light cover. And that gives me a plus one. So you, actually that makes you um, uh, hit me on fives. So three, at, three at five. Three at five. What, three, five or? three Yeah, three dice uh, hitting me on fives. And I'm an eight. It would be on fours, so it takes it to four, but because I'm in light cover, it takes okay. it down to minus three, so I'm hit, you hit me on fives. One. Oh dear. So I'm going to roll to, I do, nine, seven. So I know I was really high there, so I'm starting on three. I've got one catch two to four. I've got an extra rank. I'm going to be good. Right. Okay. So I'm done, huh? And I'm going to try and activate these guys. <laughs> They're really ready. <laughs> uh, and they are going to turn Whoa. towards the wall. Now, I've activated in, in cover and I've manoeuvred in cover. If you manoeuvre in cover, you... Um, immediately cease your turn. Okay, that's it. We're going to rewind and... Okay, guys, we're back again. Turn five is getting light on numbers, apart from those pesky rangers sitting in the hills. Oh, in the trees. Okay, morale. Uh, initiative. I got three and a two. Six and a four. Turn it over to you. 
I'm going to activate these guys. Okay, so you need a four to activate them. Three and seven. Yep. I'm going to shoot the L. Okay. So mage. Yep. Take your dis dis take your disruption marker off. So you have got four dice to start with. I have got shielding though, so you're down to three dice. You have got still three. You're still on four because of your true flight. So am I at four? So you're hitting on fours. So you're three at fours. Three at fours. Three dice. Yeah. Four. I die. Come on. Yes. Bye bye. Well done. <laughs> you did well. Okay, my turn then. I am going to activate these guys. Should do, and they are going to lose some arrows into these guys. So your defense is 10, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, I am three, four, because I have got two ranks. So I am hitting you on sixes. Uh, and that was a, that's a massive one. One hit. Wow. Those wolves are doing really well, aren't they? They all turned the tide. They, they, they they believe in themselves. Okay, your activation. Okay, now. Do them. I would. That. Yeah. So I can charge them. Because you know I've activated here. You know I'm not going to be able to charge you in the flank here. So I can here. charge them. Yeah, you, if you can activate, you know you're in six inches. Because uh, you push me back six inches. And I've not been able to activate and you'll be able to charge into them. I can activate the... Yeah, fours. fours, please work. So, yep, Ooh. into you go. Okay, so now I can, do I have five dice? Yep, so you have five dice, I have five dice. Mm. Uh, we are exactly the same again, um, I think. I need to learn to do that calculation properly. Uh, no, I've giant spider, I've got, I have got shielding one, so I'm gonna make you shield. But that means I've got shield as well, okay? Yeah. So that, means I lose a dice as well. And we are both on eights to hit. So if you would like to go first. Da, 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 da. One, two. So it's two off of, two off of me. So that's definitely one guy dead. And I get one on you. One guy dead? Yep. But you win the combat again. Got that one. Yep. Well. So now you are on plus two, and I am. Uh, I'm on. Um, is it, I've got. I've, you can see. Can you see? Unfortunately, I think I am now. Because I've a unit of three and down one as well. So I have not got a full rank because I started with three. So I'm on seven and you're on seven. I pass. You're on six. But yeah. Sorry, you're on six. Okay. okay. So wait, how what do you want to do with me? I want you to back off six. Six inches? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Not a bad idea. Okay, my activation is these guys. Uh, they are going to try and activate the do. They are going to move slightly that way. And that is me done. Your activation. Do it. So yeah, it's an activation. Yeah, I want to activate the mage. Yeah, she can definitely barbecue there. So this time, uh, I think, ah, the laser has packed up. Brilliant. Okay, I think, I'm trying to work out if that's in the flank. I don't think it is. Uh, you need to see more than half the unit. So yeah, it's fine. It's front, front attack. Okay. Yeah. So you are activating her on threes. Yep. Five ball. Yep, needing sevens. Two dice, two dice. Two dice. So mage always has 
Oh. Fizzles out on her fingers. Okay, and anybody in your last unit is your Wolvers. Wolvers, yes. I'm going to move the Wolvers. So you're going to try and activate them? I'm going to activate them on fives. Yep. Yep. So we take your wounds off. Okay, so now they move ten and a half, right? Yep. Um, do I have any? No. Can I you, attack these? I was going to say, you probably could. Uh, yeah, you're gonna hit him there. What can so, I? Yep, yeah, you can. What can I retreat? Yeah, you, cool mate, off. don't attack them there. Honestly. Okay, I'll attack them yeah. there then. Yeah, that's fine. So, so we have a rear attack. This is good for you. Mm. So you, for, first of all, let's go through your wolvers. So these, I am a fight of ten. Our defense of 10. Okay. Well, fight is three. Okay, now we have a look at our characteristics. So if you have a look in the where it says special, have you got anything extra in there? I've got horrific, yep. charge two, wild okay. charge, nimble regenerate. Okay, so you've got charge two. Mm -hmm. So that actually adds straight away, that adds two to your score. So you're hitting on fives. My aunt, so you hit me on fives, yeah? You've also got wild charge, which means you're allowed to re-roll one of your dice. It also means I'm allowed to re-roll one of my dice. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the other thing we've got is you'll hit me in the rear. So I can't use five dice. I can, use, I can use two. Because that's how many ranks I've got. Okay, and also you're attacking me in the rear. Uh, so we go to the um, combat, um, combat modifier tables, and you can see on here, I'm defending the rear arc, I'm on plus one. So whereas on three, I'm now on two. So I'm, I'm hitting you on eights. Okay, I'm also already activated, so I'm hitting you on nines. So I've got two dice at nines to hit you, and you've got five dice. Five dice. Plus one re-roll. At, at five. And if and you can re-roll if you want to. So I got six and a two, so I do no casualties. Okay. So that's two. That's three. That's four. Now you got these two dice, you can re-roll them. One of them. One of them. Okay, that means it does allow me to re-roll on one. Okay, I'll re-roll this one. Okay. Eight. Eight. Okay, so that's five, and I get a nine. So I do actually end up doing one point of damage to you. Now, as you've just killed five of my guys, I know who's in the more stuck, and it's me. <laughs> so, five guys. I had a five guys tonight, actually. Don't you? Don't you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so there you go. Uh, so, what does that mean? First of all, it means that you can choose how far you can push me away. And then we'll do my round. So, do you want to push me one inch? Do you want to retreat one inch? Or do you want to push me six inches? Okay, so, that back this way? No, no, it'd be all, it's going to be that. So, they're, they're going to get closer to my guard. It would do. So, what I would do is just push me an inch. Like that, if that's what you're worried about, okay. It also means you can, if you, if you get initiative next time, you can charge me at the bum and we'll completely wipe them out because I suspect I'm about to go disrupted. Because yep. let's morale that. So I'm yeah. on three, I lost five, that's up to eight. Okay, I no longer have a full rank, that is nine. I also getting charged in the rear, that's up to ten. And he's horrific. So I need, and he's horrific. So I need to get ten on one dice. No, they go to disrupted. Okay. I'll we'll put a skull in there for disruption. So they're not good for me. Okay. That is turn five over with. We're going to finish up and get ready for turn six. Okay, guys. It's turn six. The forces of good, whoever they are. <laughs> uh, I've nicked your dice. Uh, are waiting at the speed below, and we're going to see <laughs> who's got one initiative. Two and a one. Oh, 
Okay. Well, it's definitely over now. Okay, what is? I'm going to charge the walls with these guys. Yeah. Okay. So you got activation. Yeah. Five, yeah. please. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so we're going to take that off there. And they're going to go boop, smash. Uh, yeah, they can still hit me in the back. So they go in there. Okay, so I have now got one dice hitting on t basically 10 eights. And why 10 eights? So let's work that out because mm -hmm. you can still hit on a 10 eight. So I've got, uh, dis I'm disrupted. I'm not activated. So actually, I'm on tens again. I'm on, I'm on, uh, been hit in the rear. I'm, I'm activated now, but I'm hitting the rear. So, and I'm disrupted. So that's two. So I'm, I'm hitting on nines or tens again. Okay. And you are on five. No, you're, you're on fives again. You're on, so you're hitting on fives again. Let's see where it goes. It takes us. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. That's everybody dead in that group. Then you need to re roll. So I get one dice. I don't do anything. Everybody gets chopped to bits into dog food. <laughs> okay. I mean, that does mean you're going to win because you've got four guys on there. There's absolutely no chance of me getting somebody over there. I actually got the wolves there as well, but these guys are going to try and activate because nine and eight they are, and they're going to have five dice at you. Uh, so, oh, we need to work it out. Ooh. There's got some hits in there. So you're on ten, I'm on four, five. So f that's five. So I've got two, three. Four, five. Oh, five hits. So you immediately lose one guy. And then he does that. So that's a bit of ouchies for you. Mm -hmm. That's a bit of payback. So now you need to roll your morale. So roll two dice. So we're on yeah, five, six, seven. Yep, happy days. So now, I'll get my mage activated. Yep. Needing threes. Yep. yep. Six and one. Okay. I see a fireball coming there. No way. That's two dice. Oh, I need. You need to roll two dice. Oh, I got to, roll. To, to, to cast the spell. Oh, okay. Need to yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Seven, yep, now we're on three dice, I've four, so you're hitting on four, on three, so you're hitting on fives. One, two, three. Okay, so they are now on fives to pass, they do, luckily, got one five. And I'm going to activate these guys. Seven, one. They're going to charge into you there. Just to hold the line. Uh, I've got five dice still. You've got four dice. I'm hitting, with, again, we're hitting on eights, but you're on four dice. Okay. Oh dear, you're dead. And you got two. So I got two, but I've got one, two, three, four. Ooh. So all the dwarfies get chopped up into spider food. I think, and that is, that is it, that is it, so you win, you win, because you have got four, five guys on the centre and I have nobody, the rangers are going to slink off into the sunset through there, and the spiders will probably follow up, follow up behind them, when you hold on to the centre. So I hope uh, that helped you guys learn a bit. Um, if it didn't, let me know down in the comments bit below. Um, if you think I did something wrong, please point out what it was. Um, I'm sure I missed something. I'm not infallible, but oh, I like to think I am. What did you think about it, Rodders? First I, ball game, first... First, very nice. Yeah. I really think he let me win this one. <laughs> um, but yes, very interesting. 
um, and uh, need to practice more of a first ever. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, for a first ball game and you know, first go through the rules, I think you did really well. Uh, the rules are quite simple, aren't they? Yeah, just a, a little bit it's, of um, a practice on yeah, the yeah. side of calculating the the morale and 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 and, and uh, back to back um, fighting. Yeah, and yeah. and just getting the positions right and how yeah. how to move things and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah, no, yeah. thank you, thank you for coming along tonight. I'm glad I could help you out and train. And guys, I'll see you in the not so distant future. Cheers, guys. Bye.